Okay, here we are with the engine. We've taken the fuel tank off and we're about to take the head off. And before I show you how to undo the head bolts, which are very tight, we had a look in here before and it is a Bosch filter element like uh, Bosch Myco nicely made element inside. Uh, but we found a lot of kerosene in there, so we're just wondering if the engine's been test run on kerosene. So we don't know about that. Anyhow, we've, done, we've um, blocked up some lines here just in case and we're going to um, show you what we have to do to undo the head bolts. Well, as we can see, there we go, we're trying to undo the hood bolt. That is nowhere near enough, it's so tight and the bolt's quite a massive bolt. So, if you wouldn't mind, Adrian, doing the deed and showing us how it works. That's what we've got to do. Okay, so here you go. See if we can get it moving. Pull hard, be careful it doesn't snap off. Keep going, it's moving very slowly, yep, there we go. A lot of leverage required for those head bolts. We've opened inside, it's quite clean at the moment, but we'll show you some more pictures in there a bit later. And there we go, we're going to see if it's been test run now on kerosene. Okay, we've taken the head off. As you can see it down there, it's reasonably well machined, but a lot of dirt on it. You see a bit of dirt on there, a bit too close there. A bit of sand and dirt and grit. But uh, nicely machined though, it appears to be. And the honing in there is quite nice. But as you can see on top of the cylinder, it moves quite easily, but um, there's a fair bit of um, dirt on top there, unfortunately, as we can see. But the honing it looks very incredibly nice. So it'll be interesting to see now. We pull the piston out and look up underneath the piston to see if there's any sand up there. That's where you've got to be careful of sand under the piston. Okay. I'm just using my uh, file on there. And you can see that they've got heaps of bog on the engine, but it's a bit out of focus. I can't really focus it more than that, but... There's slightly little, um, like a, something machined into the head, there's some words or something. And they didn't even need to bog over it. It's beautifully, seems quite beautifully machined, this part of the head. But they've just bogged everywhere. And you can see over here, there's a quite a thick section of bog just used in here. So there's a fair bit of bog used on these engines, but um, you've scraped that around, away on the hot top and it's all quite beautifully machined and smooth. And when you scrape away all the bog, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little name there. Uh, I'll take a still photo. You can't see it, but I'll take a still photo. You might be able to see it just there. There's the um, desiccant there. And uh, we've checked it. We've pulled this cover off here. Massive counterweights. Massive. Compared to my hand, look at that. Massive counterweights. I'm just going to try to take the bottom of this um, con rod out now, which I think we should have done probably before we took that off because now I've got to move that piston around, it's going to pop around everywhere, so I've got to be very careful. And there's not much gunk in the bottom, a little bit of gunk, but it's painted red sealer. We said no painting on ordering, but they painted this red sealer colour, so I don't know what we're going to have to do there. Well, they're going to pull the whole block out and dip it, and respray it, or go with as is, we don't know. See what happens.